This is the Greek Word of the Day with James Gregory. Welcome to the Greek Word of the Day. Today we have me. Me. It's a negative particle. It means not, lest. Me is the negative of will, wish, doubt. It's used with optative. It's used with subjunctive. Um, it's corollary is ooh. Who denies the fact? No, not. Me denies the idea. Okay? So you'll see it with the optative, you'll see it with the subjunctive. Um, in Kini Greek, which is the New Testament Greek, usage is simplified to such a degree that U is generally the negative used with the indicative, and me is used with the other moods. Okay? So it's a marker of negation. It means not. It can be used in negative clauses, conditional clauses, purpose clauses, result clauses. Um, it can be combined with ou, like ou mi uh, ginito, may it never be, uh, and then it becomes very emphatic. Uh, it can be used with interrogative clauses, uh, like should we not? Um, and then there's a bunch of specific mood uses, like with the infinitive, after verbs expressing a negative concept, usually omitted in translation. So you, sometimes you don't even translate it. It could be used generally after verbs of saying, reporting, ordering, judging. It's a declarative clause, basically. Um, after predicates that contain a judgment upon the thing expressed by the infinitive. It could be part of a um, genitive... Um, substantive, infinitive, uh, like to me, that not. Um, so there's a lot of different uses here. It could be uh, with the dative of the substantive infinitive, with nominative or accusative of the substantive infinitive, so on and so forth. Um, Air is subjunctive, specific uses. It could be a marker of conjunction after verbs of fearing. So that, not, or lest, with present subjunctive, heiress subjunctive, future indicative instead of the subjunctive. Uh, so there's an instance where it does occur with the indicative. Um, it could take the place of a purpose clause. So that, not, marker of, of expectation of a negative answer to a question. It isn't so, is it, that, Something like that. Uh, it could be used in indirect questions, whether, not. Uh, it could be used as a marker of reinforced negation, uh, which is what I talked about earlier, umi genito. So uh, lots of uses. Again, it's a marker, um, meaning not, uh, no, usually used with the other moods. Subjunctive, optative, etc. Uh, so there you go. Me means not or lest. You've just learned another Greek word of the day. Keep at it. And before you know it, you're going to be able to read 75% of the New Testament. Just stick with it in less than a year. As simple as one word a day. Okay, it's like one of those info infomercials where like for less than a dollar a day, you could support. Now, I'm not trying to detract from those, but it's the same idea. A little bit at a time. You can make a big impact in your knowledge and growth in the Greek language. Isn't that exciting? Keep at it. You could do it. Hit subscribe. Hit the notification button so you know when I send out new videos, publish new videos. Follow uh, the stream on Saturdays at 9 a.m. as well. Uh, and we will see you on the line. Cheers.